DNS. DNS is the domain name service. This is the protocol which allows names like google.com to be resolved to their IP address and vice versa. DNS settings can be found in the SmoothWall interface under Network, Configuration, DNS. The SmoothWall has a couple of DNS options. By default, it will use an internal DNS server which is automatically configured for you. Any workstations on your network will send their request to the SmoothWall to be resolved by its own DNS server. Alternatively, you can tell the SmoothWall to use specific user-defined DNS addresses. For most cases, default settings would be ideal. If you choose to use the internal server, the options below will take effect. DNS Forwarders is where the SmoothWall sends DNS requests it can't answer directly itself. By default, we set it up to map to this group, which is automatically populated with the DNS servers from your internet service provider. You will have specified these when you configured your external connections. This means that, out of the box, it will work and start resolving addresses straight away. See our video, Setting Up Interfaces. If you have any other internet DNS servers, we recommend adding them in this section. The Conditional DNS Forwarder section is where you should specify services that handle your internal domain name resolution. Click Add New Conditional DNS Forwarder and the pop-up will appear. This links into Server Objects, which lists any you have already defined. For more information, see our video, Firewall Address and Service Objects. If you already have a group of your DNS servers, you can select it. Enter the server IP. In this case, we will enter myorg as the domain. This is an internal domain not accessible over the internet that our Active Directory uses. Click Add. Now, if a request is trying to resolve to server1.myorg.local, it will know it is myorg local and automatically forward that request to our specified server as opposed to the internet server, which won't recognize it. This will allow internal DNS resolution to work for Active Directory. If you have any other domains, you can add them into the conditional DNS forwarder section. If an individual DNS entry isn't resolved by the internet or your internal DNS, you may specify static DNS hosts here. In this example, we will specify an entry for a new address. Enter it in the host IP address box or select from the list of available objects you've already defined below and then click Add. In this case, we will enter the host name server2.myorg.local. Click Add. Static DNS host entries override the other DNS entries above. In this example, because we have added the static entry, although it's in myorg.local, this address will actually be resolved first instead of forwarding it to the conditional DNS forwarder specified above. The DNS settings take immediate effect.